Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in, in the previous tutorial, we learned about how to use test block to be able to tokenize words, to be able to detect the kind of words, and then be able to translate them. So now in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about part of speech, right? How to understand what part of speech it is, and as well as several of the things we can do with test block. So we learned from our previous string that this was our previous string. The best type of message is the one that never shakes up, which is very nice. So this is what, what we're trying to use with, work with. Now let's create another thing and then see how to find the part of speech of it. So we use a, a different test block, which is going to be this. And then if I want to find the part of speech of this, like the different part of speech, I can just go with block one dot tax. Right, that's the first method. So it's going to analyze this simple word and tell me that the hello is a noun, the word is an NP. So these, these definitions are there, you can just check it out. This is a verb. NLP is an is a noun, so it's, it's able to tell us the part of speech this simple sentence is right, and so on. Way so another way of doing the part of speech is to also to use the part of speech tag, right? So another way of doing it is going to be like this: block one dot pos then tags. It's going to work the same way. Perfect. So that is one way of doing it. So either you use the tags or use the part of speech tag. So that is how to understand the part of speech of it. So this one can be used for another application. So for example, if I want to find a particular word to find who the sentence is about, I can just use the same part of speech idea, right, to be able to do that. But let's move on to noun phrases. So noun phrases, what is noun phrases? So the purpose of noun phrases is to help us to know who or what the sentence is about. So for example, we have this test, which is another blob, so blob two. And then it's going to be test blob. Google is a great search engine to find it almost everything, right? Just like we're doing here, you can find anything. So how do we find who or what this is about? So to do that, it's going to be with blob two, right? Then we can just go with dot. So we can make it simple. We can make it like so for np for now that is now face in blob two dot. Dot, I don't know, I think I have to drink more with <laughs> dot freeze, right? See how I'm spelling freeze. Then I go print np. So if I do that, it's going to print the particular noun trees inside, right? What or who this verse is about. This test here is about, so to process it with some time. Perfect. So now it has given us the particular now freeze right so who is it talking about it's talking about google or what is it talking about it's talking about great search engine so by this we have been able to know what and who this sentence is about which is very very interesting so it can be used to do caption it can be used to do caption right caption generation or you to identify it can be used to do caption generation as well as test summarization which is very very useful and then briefing of a test, if you have a whole test, you want to brief you to find the ideas behind, you can just use this now phrase. So now let's move on to how do we find verbs inside, right? How do we find verbs? This is about now. How do we find a particular verb inside? So to do that, the quick solution is to use the normal phrase. So this same thing here, right? If we use a search engine, we can just use this format. of Let's use our first initial block, which is this, right? which is, I think this one will be better. So you can just go with block dot tags. Then it's going to give us all the tasks. Okay, so is is a verb. Then we have shows is another verb, right? And then another verb is we can also find is learn. So these are all the verbs we can find inside. So that is the shortest or quickest quickest method. Quickest, <laughs> quickest method if I use. So that is one way of finding a particular verb inside. It's another way you can also do that is to use a for loop, right? So, so let's try an example. So for uh for web and then verb in this our blog dot tags print. Then we'll be using Python. This is Python six. So we go. We can go with this. So this is going to be our web, and then we're going to pipe it to another one. It's going to be our web. Right, so let's make it simple and then answer. So that is one way of doing it. So this is going to print all the ways as well as their time. 
but that's not what I want. I want to get the verb itself. So I'm going to be I'm going to give it a this is going to work. Give us all the words, which is another nice way, just like the previous one. But I want to actually find only the verb. So to do that, you can just go to if where or oh, let's use if verb because it's the verb in let's copy this <coughs> right if verb in this then print this so that is we're only going to print those ones that are there perfect so that it's actually giving us only the verbs inside which is very very useful so this can help us to know what action is being done or what activities are being done what is the verb inside this so so thank you for watching. If you have any questions or contribution, can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe.